Peter Ballas here, cardiologist. Now a quick video to just go through what is involved when you have an ECG. To recap, an ECG is an electrocardiogram. It involves assessing the rhythm and the rate of the heart and it's done from the outside using electrodes that are placed on the skin and that gives us a signal that we can monitor on the machine, the electrocardiogram, and it gives us very useful information about how fast the heart rate is going, how slow, and also whether the electrical or the wiring of the heart is affected at all, and you might have heard things of bundle branch blocks and so forth. So it's a very useful test that we often do to rule out any initial issues related to the heart, and often is the foundation of further tests that may be required. Now, when you go in and have an ECG, this normally takes about five to 10 minutes. There's a little bit of preparation. So we place six leads across the chest from you know, left to right, and uh, they are depicted as V1 to V6. Now, to prepare that, and to get very good contact with the electrode and the skin. Uh, we may need to shave some hair off the skin uh, using a razor. And then to establish good contact with the electrode and the skin, we often use a little bit of this uh, tape. That's a sandpaper, very mild abrasive sandpaper. And that can just be used to just, you know, shave, um, abrade the skin surface, doesn't hurt and that allows proper contact when we stick the electrode on. And there are, again, six electrodes that we place on the chest, then we place what we call the limb leads, some electrodes on the arms and the legs. And then from there, we can get a snapshot. And when you think about it, it's like an action camera where the particular leads provide us a view of the heart from a different angle. So we can look at the bottom part of the heart, the front part of the heart, the side part of the heart, using this uh, electrocardiogram from the skin. So a very simple procedure, not painful, and gives us very useful information and forms a foundation of potentially other tests that may be needed. But it's also a very useful way just to rule out any significant issues with the heart rate, the rhythm of the heart, and you know a structure of the heart and the muscle itself. Until the next video, bye for now.